Hey guys, so I'm um, just putting another quick video together on uh, PHP security and uh, cross-site scripting. So um, we're just going to show how we can protect against it, what it is, um, and some functions that we're going to use to actually protect against it is HTML special, special characters, special chars, uh, HTML entities, and uh, strip tags. Um, and we'll go over these in a bit. These two functions are essentially the exact same. Um, so what I've put together is uh, a quick little form that uh, takes an input of first name, last name, and um, also we have a text area in here. and. Um, What's going to happen is we're going to submit this form and then um, we're going to output all those values. Okay, so if these values um, aren't protected when they're output, uh, we can easily do some cross site scripting. So, what I mean by that is I can take some simple HTML tags and um, input them or put them in the input so I'll give this this text some bold this one I'll italicize and uh, and give this one header And uh, as you can see, and if we um, actually go to the output, so we have our hello element and a header now. Um, we have this text is bolded. We also have uh, this in italics. So what this also means is um, any HTML tags, even script tags, so we can input some JavaScript in here. Um, so for example, we could, if we wanted to, uh, redirect the user redirect the user by just submitting this. This is a simple oh, oh. Uh, redirect in JavaScript. Okay, so another common one is um, we can get the user's cookie as you can see in the script, I actually uh, started a session, which our browser should now have a cookie in it. And I'll just uh, show you that quickly. And so we have a cookie of PHP sesh ID with a specific value. What we can do is we can just, um, I'm just gonna show you that I can get the cookie, okay? Now I can further, I can alter, yeah, alter that script further and I can output that somewhere else. Um, lastly, uh, I put together a little form. So generally, so I can do this. Okay, so what I've done is put together a form, aside from, just ignore that, um, I put a bunch of breaks to make it look like the second form is not even there. Generally you get this um, actually as a 
uh, URL. So it'd be so for example, if uh, you're a user on a site and I happen to have your email address, I could pass you um, pass you something like this. Um, and uh, you'd click on this link not knowing that it actually points to a script that outputs this form. Okay. So again, I get this form, and what I've done in the code, uh, sorry, what I've done in the form, let's go back to that form code. Um, What I've done in the form is I'm actioning this form to a file called Evo PHP. This will be, um, and then it's going to post the uh, the username and the password. So within that file, I can easily post that data, open a file um, on my server, or even somewhere yeah on my server um, and write it to a text file so now I have your username and your password so you unknowingly um, clicked on this link and it says something like get help so I'll say okay so just make sure that uh, Cleared this file, okay. So all you have to do is uh, submit this, and then uh, okay, support will contact you shortly. It looks every looks like everything's good. You go back home, and you've unknowingly put your credentials. Um, now I have them in my text folder, okay. So. What we can do is um, when we're putting these characters is uh, first we're going to do HTML special characters, which actually um, doesn't append the HTML to the HTML. Okay, and it actually will output the HTML for us. So I'm not going to cover this in depth, but we're just going to um, use this on each HTML special chars. Work and Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, try and put some values in here again. script in there okay 
So now it doesn't actually um, run the script. It's actually just going to output everything. Um, and as you can see, to the browser, and uh, it's not appended to the HTML. Okay, so um, that's one way. And um, HTML entities, it's going to do the exact same thing. So again, as you can see, it does the exact same thing. Um, the only difference with HTML entities is um, so it's identical except HTML entities, all characters uh, that have HTML character entity equivalents are translated into these entities so that means something like like this it's translated into that Okay, and uh, lastly, sorry guys, it's been a long night. Um, we'll do strip tags, which uh, is going to just get rid of the tags that it sees. Okay, and optionally in strip tags, you can actually um, put uh, more arguments um, of tags that we actually want to allow. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again. Okay, so um, yeah, it output the text, stripped all of the HTML tags, and uh, even as you can see here, what it did is it just uh, stripped the script tag, and it still output this. So that's uh, you know when we're dealing with output, outputting directly to a page um, that functions the most um, usable because you don't want to see those HTML tags on the page. Okay. Um, another thing I found when I was going through this is um, oh. site.php
So if we go and uh, get rid of get rid of all of this and uh, use Google Chrome and we actually try and inject the script what happens is Google Chrome actually has um, an, a cross-site scripting auditor Okay, so it refuses to actually uh, execute a specific script. So if we're trying to put some scripts, okay, and when we're using Chrome, uh, it's already got a built in auditor. I'm not sure, I haven't looked too much into it. Uh, you can probably disable it as well but you know that's that's good to know um, that Chrome has that covered okay so uh, that's it guys if uh, there's any issues with the tutorial or anything that can be improved please let me know uh, I definitely want to make these videos better for you guys in the future and um, any feedback positive or negative is uh, is always needed, okay? Uh, thanks, guys.